Thursday edition of For Your Community today. A special treat for you. This is the story of some homeowners who are also newlyweds. Listen in. The couple that builds their house together stays together. At least that's what the riddles believe. We got to drive the first nails in. So like we were the first ones to hit, use any tools on the site, which was great. It was a high learning curve, but it was a lot of fun. Um, She's so hot. <laughs> It's great. I love watching my wife work. The newlyweds blended their families together seven months ago, including three children, ages 11, 4, and 2. And while they're full of smiles now, their journey has not been an easy one. In 2016, my um, life was completely shattered when my first husband passed away unexpectedly. A week later, um, two days after the funeral, I found out that I was pregnant with our son. As Erica struggled to raise her two children alone, Neil also struggled to provide a stable home for his child. After that, I just had friends who just let me stay with them as long as they could let me. With your son? With my son. Now, life as a married couple does offer more stability, but not a place to call home. That is, until they earned a 0% mortgage on this home through Habitat for Humanity. Having this house is so important for my kids to just be able to grow up in a place that's theirs, that they know is safe, and that they know isn't going anywhere. So this, this is our house. <laughs> the pair showed me around with pride, even though much of the home still only exists in their minds. Yeah, have you decorated it yet? Have you, like, we, we, couch we have some, we have some, we have some graph paper we've drawn out. We have a couch over here, TV in the corner. As they dream of how to make this house a home, they also dream of paying it forward. Generous, and just having the, the lowered cost of living, like, we'll be able to take care of other people who are mm -hmm. going through stuff. They are so excited to share the joy and share their opportunity and just by being kind and opening their home to others. It's just gonna be such a thrill for them. Speaking of giving help, by the way, a lot of manpower goes into these homes and you can see the progress behind us, siding up, windows, doors, roofs. It's so exciting. 20 to 25 different volunteers are who really handle each of these homes out there. So coming up at five o'clock, we're gonna introduce you to a group that is making sure they take care of all those volunteers. Some more special stories live from the Jimmy Carter work project. I'm gonna say Jimmy and Rosalind Carter work project <laughs> here for Habitat for Humanity. We'll toss it back to you, Lauren. It's yeah. just been wonderful and this weather is fabulous. Oh, I love it. There's so much heart there on those build sites. Thanks so much, Tracy. Of course, you can always follow Tracy's progress on the News 4 app right now. We've got all of her stories right there.